Hey everyone, so welcome back to another tutorial and it's been a while I have made a new video. So let's get straight to the topic. Um, a few months ago, I created this video, um, how to increase all in one WordPress migration plugin import file size limit. So what happens is in a lot of hosting, you get a um, very, uh, very small file size limit like 10 MB, 2 MB. So uh, in that, in my previous video, I've shown you how you can increase it to 40 GB, which should be sufficient for most users. And basically what you had to do was edit some files and you will be able to increase the file size limit. But um, if you watch my previous video or if you have watched it and you um, you came to this video from that so a lot of users have reported that this trick is not working anymore and I have told them that I'm looking for a new trick and today I finally finally found that this new trick and it's basically an official uh, of it's not a trick but an official method by the plugin authors to increase the import file size limit and I will quickly show you how to do it but please um, I always keep my video on point so please do not skip and watch the full video so you do not you will not mess up your settings so the first thing you will have to do is log into your WordPress admin dashboard and um, it's very simple to do so I hope you will be able to do that and then install the all-in-one WordPress plugin it's just basically simple and I hope you have already done that so I will quickly show you if I check the import limit it is currently showing me 2 MB just 2 MB which and um, for so it's basically useless and I cannot import any uh, file and backup th is not uh, is only if you can restore from backup only if you have the paid version of this plugin so to increase this import limit what you have to do is um, I will uh, you will have to go to first plugins then go to install plugins okay from here what you have to do is click on add new and from here you will see this option upload plugin just click on it and then you will see this option of selecting a file so click on it and then you will have to um, upload this file and if you want this file what you have to do is post in the comments or email me and basically you will have to contact me so then click on install now okay so this, we have it will show you this message that installing plugin from the zip file and then the plugin installed successfully so now let's activate the plugin okay so the plugin has been activated and now what you have to do is it's just uh, now it's pretty simple to do so right so now let's check the go to all in word plugin um, the migration plugin and then click on import and you will see that the maximum file upload size has been increased to 512 MB well it's not 40 GB as in my previous video but this should be sufficient for most users and if your website file size limit is even more than 512 MB what you will uh, you can do is um, leave a comment or if you don't get a reply from me you can reach me uh, with my email and I will leave my email in the description or it should be as a watermark on the video also. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you have any questions or anything just leave a comment and okay I will also show you a demo how to do it. Um, just I will import a file and the file size limit is 90 MB. So I will show you that um, this will be a little slow but you can see it's started and it will take a while 
to complete so it's all depends on a lot of factors like your internet speed and your server limits etc so i will stop importing because i don't want to import this and um okay if you have if this thing is not working for you or if you have any questions or errors or just leave your feedback in the comments and um, consider subscribing to my channel i make useful videos related to wordpress so i will see you in the next video